Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Westman, and this is another ADAPT case files. This has to do with diabetes. Um, three or four months into the program and um, uh, off medications and losing weight, and she uh, she's doing great. Remember, I have approval for uh, talking about my patient's uh, written approval, and I thank my patients for letting me do this to share their stories. Um, this is a 48-year-old woman who uh, finds this really easy. She says there's so many things on Pinterest under keto. She makes soups and then um, freezes them and eats them all week. She also found something called a mug cake where you put cocoa and egg and some sweetener in there. Um, she'd never been a breakfast eater, so when I told her that, you know, you don't have to eat breakfast. She was relieved. <laughs> and uh, But she really came for the treatment of diabetes. So her uh, type 2 diabetes, her A1C was 6.8% on medication. She was taking medicines including Genuvia and Metformin twice a day. And the blood sugars ranged from 100 to 160 at home with her own meter. Um, she came uh, during December at a weight of 324 pounds. We taught her how to cut back on the carbs using uh, 20 gram or less uh, total carbohydrates for the day because she has diabetes. We wanted the strongest level of carbohydrate restriction. And she came back uh, after the holidays and she'd lost uh, 15 pounds, which is remarkable. Most people gain weight over the holidays. Uh, we, at the first visit, because her blood sugars were fairly well controlled, we stopped the Genuvia immediately. Otherwise, you might get a low blood sugar. Uh, this is true with insulin and other injectables and SGLT2 inhibitors. Do not take these medicines or be very careful with them if you're using a low-carb diet. Um, so she continued on metformin in January, came back in February, she lost another four pounds and uh, another couple inches at the waist, and the highest blood sugar was 104, off one of the medicines she'd been on before. And at that time, I thought, well, let's stop the metformin as well. So the uh, four months into it, uh, this is March now, uh, her weight is down to 299, starting at 324. So she's lost 25 pounds. She's off all of her blood uh, sugar medication, off all of her diabetes medication, and her blood sugars are in the 90s. The highest blood sugar was 101. So we had a discussion about how she doesn't need to check her blood sugars so often. Um, Again, she finds it's easy. I don't make people write down things at home. That's too much work. Um, but I do ask people to write down what they're eating uh, when they come back to the office. Uh, she's having coffee in the morning, a hamburger patty, bacon and eggs, uh, a diet soda and water for lunch. So the soup she makes, the keto soup and veggies, um, and stir fry, bacon and eggs. Uh, she likes breakfast food, so she doesn't just have them for breakfast. Um, she is doing activity. She exercises about three times a week using a treadmill and walking and she has found no difficulty in exercising with the program. So this uh, is a reflection of a uh, fairly typical moderate uh, person with moderate diabetes on medication, getting off medication, and within three months the blood sugars are better than before and she's lost 25 pounds. So she's absolutely thrilled. It's never felt better. Uh, I hear that all the time. And uh, again, thanks uh, for letting me talk about your case. Um, be careful if you have diabetes and you're taking medication that you don't do this without knowing what you're doing. Um, it takes a medical professional to help you come off medications safely. And uh, I would encourage you to not try this at home if you're taking insulin or other strong medication like that. I've recently had some problems with these new drugs called HGLT2 inhibitors and strongly discourage their use, especially if you're using low-carbohydrate diets. I'm Dr. Eric Westman. This is an ADAPT 
case file on diabetes resolution in less than three months and hope that's helpful.